Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be talking about Wipro Wilp and Tech admission process and exam patterns. So, let's get started with the today's video. So, I will be explaining first what is Wilp. Wilp is work integrated learning program which is being provided by Wipro to BCA and BCS graduates. You will get MTech degree of four years from Wipro Wilp. So in this video, I have mentioned a complete process about MTech admission process and exam pattern. So without wasting a moment, let's get started. So in my case, I have received an email in the month of April in 2022. And that email that I have received was on Outlook, which was containing Excel sheet. In that Excel sheet, there was my ADID. And in front of my ADID, there was assigned a coordinator. So this is why throughout your MTech degree, if you face any kind of issue, you can reach out to your coordinator and get it resolved. So the this may vary from location to locations. So this was the first email that I received. Post that, I have received with admission email that was containing username and password so you just need to log in and then you have to fill up a admission form and then you need to upload some basic documents like photos degree certificate and semester semester mark sheets so these are some these are some basic documents you need to upload and um, you need to get with the uh, you need to get it done by your admission process after that, uh, just after ten, uh, completing admission process, um, 10 to 15 days later, I receive a survey, survey email. So that survey email is for uh, to choose uh, the batch, like where, on what day you will be able to attain Bits Pilani classes or your MTech classes. So the options are Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So in my case, I have chosen Saturday. It's uh, up to you. If you are comfortable with fr Friday, you can go with Friday. Uh, if you are comfortable with Saturday, you can go with Saturday or else Sunday. So it's your choice. Then finally, uh, I received an access emails. Uh, so access links, access links to the um, email for bits, then Elon portals. So in Wipro, we have VLAN portal, right? So if for bits Pilani, they're having Takshila portal. On that portal, you will be able to uh, get all the recorded lectures, uh, then assignments, um, then all the quiz test, your grades, you will be able to see all your marks and all everything will be available on this Takshila portal. Then going further, uh, related to uh, emails related to bits, you will start receiving on bits email ID only. So all the things you will get via email. Okay, so next coming about the classes timing. So this is the most asked question, like what is the timing and what are the lectures, like how many, uh, the, how many lectures are there and uh, what times are that. So let me tell you, I used to log in at 9 a.m. So first lecture was from 9 a.m. to 10.30. So each lecture is of one hour 30 minutes. Post that you will be having 30 minutes of break then 11 to 12 30 p.m after that you will be having lunch break of 1 to 2 p.m then from 2 to 3 30 third lecture then 30 minutes of break and the last lecture is from 4 to 5 30 so this is this was the schedule uh, this is the schedule of my mtech classes then uh, these all lectures is of 1 hour 30 minutes as I mentioned before. So this is all about the admission process. I hope you understand all this and if you're having any questions, you can leave in the comment section. Next, I will be explaining you about the exam patterns, like how the exams are uh, uh, taken by bits and uh, what are the, how many questions are there, how many hours of that exams are, okay. So, there will be four subjects in each semester. It can differ based on ways or whims. Like um, ways may have different subjects and whims may have different subjects. Okay. 
so in my case i'm from wem so i'm having different subject than these people okay now next uh, total you will be having 16 classes the 16 classes are divided into 8 and 8 that means you have to complete 8 week of classes then you have to give your mid sem exam before a uh, mid sem exam you will be having quiz test that means if you are having mid sem exam in the month in the month of march then before uh, 20 days you will be receiving a quiz email that uh, quiz will be of 5 marks 5 marks uh, that uh, no need to worry that is just like a mcq test so you just need to um, log in and give that quiz test okay and the quiz test is mandatory guys you can't skip it so this is the process so before your mid sem exam you will be also receiving a practice test email so you need to do a practice uh, test uh, you need to test your system on which you will be going to give your exam then finally you will receive a exam time table on what day or uh, what time uh, you will be having exam so one more thing exams are happening on weekends like um, on sunday and each uh, each day you will be having two exams the timing is the timings are 10 10 to 12 okay this will be for one exam and then 2 to 4 that will be for second exam so this is how the exams are taken by the bits pilani institute okay so now the most asked question is how many questions are there in the exam so approximately five questions will be there which will contain two sub sub questions each means total there will be 10 questions right yeah so guys uh, the uh, this is the very important part like how we have to write the answer do we need to write the answers manually or do we need to just uh, take like mcqs so no guys we are not having any kind of mcqs pattern this is uh, the way like we have to write all the answers on white a4 size sheet paper then you have to scan that white uh, uh, sheet paper via scanner app then you have to upload that on the platform where the exam is happening so this is the way how we give mtech exam i hope guys you have understand so uh, there may be not any kind of confusion you guys are having if you have any kind of question please leave a message in the comment section i will try to answer okay so this is all about the today's video guys i hope you have understand and uh, thanks for watching the full video thank you